Hey, Howard, I, I love the wrap up show. I, you know, I, I listen to it right after, you know, you go on. But does it appear to you that Gary talks a lot on the wrap up show? <laughs> I know what you mean, King. It's a, it's, a, it's a fine line for me. I was listening to a wrap-up show yesterday. Gary, once in a while, just will, like, stop everything and, like, go, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. And then he starts in with his opinions, and he goes on and on. I, but, but sometimes the Garyisms just crack me up. Right. Because he he's sometimes says a lot and says nothing. Right, and Gary's <laughs> theories about me, because he, you know... He, those are the best. Those are oh, the best. That's, the, that's, the, that's the killer. When he so, talks about you, it's like... I don't know. I don't know if I would did, but then he then he then he starts talking about how he would know if he did it. Like you know what I mean? He doesn't know what you think, but then he tells you what you think. Oh, no. Can I just say? A lot of times, what I will say is, listen, I don't know what Howard thinks. Here's my opinion because I started getting a lot of shit from Robin. Robin used to say, Gary thinks he knows what I think. So I feel like now I preface everything with, I don't know what they think, here's my opinion. Well, I'll give you this. I, I like Gary on the wrap-up show, and at times, yeah, I know what you mean. Like, even during the Jeff the Drunk segment, Gary, oh Gary kind of, like, really, like, kind of barrels over everybody. And, hijacks. Yeah, hijacks. But I he, think he sometimes... To, but he sometimes, gets very excited. But sometimes it really works. Yeah. So I'm hesitant to even... I don't want him self-conscious. Don't fool with it. Don't fool with it, because you know what? No. The wrap-up show ultimately is really good. And I got news for you. You take Gary out of the equation, it, it, it would get a little dull. And he has incredibly valuable information about the behind-the-scenes stuff yeah. that, that creates the stuff on the air. I know what we you mean. Like, sometimes I wanted Gary not to interrupt Jeff the Drunk. You know, I want because he'd go, hold, 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 hold. <laughs> but, jab, jab. Jab, jab, no, 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 but don't you want, and then he'll take it in a whole other direction, and it was going in a pretty good direction, but I'd Alan, say. that's your show. Yeah, but, but I'm saying, yeah, but. In other words, on your show, it's you yeah, take it in a direction that you want. Yeah, yeah, well, that's the problem. Sometimes you, you don't have the sense to shut up. Okay, you don't, I'll take that, but, but, but it's, you have a show, and I have a show. And right. they go in different directions. But I thought it was the Tom Hines show. Well, it well, is. Sean and Gary. And sometimes Gary does take over, but Gary, I'm complimenting you. It's necessary. King, don't you have a street to go clean? <laughs> no, no, Gary, you good. But I tested it yesterday. This is the funniest thing I tested. I went to walk my dogs around the block, and I do like a mile with the dogs. And he was, it seemed like he was talking the whole way. Did he talk the entire mile? Yeah. I guarantee I didn't talk while you, anybody walked a mile, especially you. King, in other words, you don't know how long he spoke for, but you know it lasted a mile. It, it lasted a mile. It was all, King could do a mile an hour. I was like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> and then he goes, then, like, if, if it's a number between one and ten, like if he says, we've been on the air ten years, he'll go, we've been on the air six and a half years. Like, how do you know that shit? Like, you know what I mean? Even if it's six Gary years. knows a lot of stuff. In fact, well, I go crazy because... He has a great um, memory. You know, I, I got a letter, uh, an email yesterday from uh, Jonathan Brandmeier, who's a radio personality. Yeah. And he says to me, um, I said, hey, hey, John, you know, I, he was just up here. And I said, yeah, I, I want to... Um, I said, I'm sorry I wasn't around to see you. He goes, uh, well, you know, we did meet years ago, of course. It'll... So I said, we did? Where do we meet? I, he says, we did Phil Donahue's show together. Oh, that's years right. Ago. I, I said, really? Wow. I have no recollection of meeting you at the Phil Donahue show or, you know, I just don't even have, I don't even recall being on the Phil Donahue yeah, show. Yeah, you were on. I was on with Jonathan Brandmeier and Larry Lujak. Yeah. And I said, I, he reminded me, I didn't know. So I said, uh, well, I'll tell you what. I said, I don't really remember that. Isn't that crazy? And then I go to do that history of Howard Stern. And I don't remember a fucking thing. I know, I know. I honestly don't. I can't remember yesterday's show. Yeah, I, I, mean, I do remember yesterday. This was particularly good, but... I think I'm the weakest link on the history of Howard Stern because they're waiting to hear my thoughts about things. And I, when we record it, I, they sit there and they go, okay, Howard, talk about the time you were on the Phil Donahue show. I go, look, you better get Gary in here. And he's going to have to tell me what right. happened and, 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 and spike my memory. And then you'll have some recollections. Oh, Gary's like that. a black well, box. No, because then Gary, we've done this before. Gary comes in and goes, Wolf, now, you walked in, Phil Donahue, don't you remember he said, and then you said, and then, and then, then Phil, the, nuts. And, yeah, and then uh, Phil Donahue, he and, Larry was and then you asked him about Marlo <laughs> Thomas, but Larry Lujak said he didn't want to go on with you, and then Larry Lujak said, <laughs> and, and I said, and then you said, and I said, and you said, and then you said. It's like the Zapruder film. Yeah, right, yeah. I mean, Gary's like a fuck. I go, what the fuck? 
he's got a he's got a steel trap mind for everything that's ever happened. Yeah, he's he's filled with tons of Howard Stern useless information, but it's it's a real help to me because 